Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a slide out menu in Objective C with Xcode 5. And I also wanted to say that in order to do this tutorial, you need to go down to my website and download the project files there. And you need to download the beginning project files. You can download the final project files, which will be right underneath those beginning project files if you want to just look at the code as I'm teaching you. But basically the project, the beginning project files are just the bare bones and that will be where my tutorial basically begins. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so to get started, let's go ahead and open up Xcode. Let's create a new Xcode project, and here we're going to make it a single view application. Our product name, I'm just going to call mine slide out menu, and our devices will be set to iPhone. Now let's click next, create, and first of all, let's go into our supporting files. And we want to first to introduce, introduce some new files that were created by a third party source named Joan Luch. Sorry if I messed up your name. But basically, he created these files, and they're the basic, the, they are what actually make the, this a slide out view, a slide out menu. So thanks to Joan Luch for all these files. And now we just need to implement these into our, our app. So if you guys didn't already, go down to go into my website, find this tutorial, and download the project files. So let's go ahead and go to slide out menu files, and we just want to completely click and drag that folder into our supporting files folder. Now finish. And now we just want to go into our our main.storyboard. And I'm actually gonna maximize this real quick. And let's go to our view controller that's already on there. And we go on to go right up here to our identity inspector. And our class, we want to set this to SW Reveal View Controller. Now it should already fill fill it up like this. If not, type it in exactly how you see it. Now let's go ahead and call this the class of SW Reveal View Controller. And now we want to add a new view controller, new table view controller into our scene, which will be our menu later on. So click and drag a ten table menu onto. Uh, your storyboard right over here and now we want to act now we want to add a navigation controller and we'll just put it right below that and now delete the table view controller that is connected with this nav navigation controller that we created and now let's go ahead and add a new view controller to take place of that table view controller that we just deleted all right now let's route this navigation controller to the view controller and we will just say relation, so control click drag or right click drag from the navigation controller to our view controller and say root view controller. It'll give you this option right here. And there you go. All right, now let's go on over here and we want to say reveal view controller. So it's just control click drag from actually we want to control click and drag from right right here. Control click and drag from right up there and say reveal view controller. Not push controller, not set controller, but reveal view controller. All right, now let's go down here and control click and drag from again the same spot as before, but put it down to our navigation controller this time. And now we want to say reveal view controller again. Now we want to click on our top segue that we created up here to the table view up, up here. And we want to go into our attributes inspector, and our, and we want to set the identifier to sw underscore rear. So this is basically if you did where I'm where am I getting this from? It's get you're getting it from right over here in the project in the files that we implemented into our app earlier on. All right, so now let's go ahead and click on our bottom segue down here and we want to set the identifier to sw underscore front all right now let's go ahead and go on over to our view controller h file as we have pretty much everything set up actually we need to go down here and we want to change where this is referenced from so we want to change the class so make sure the whole thing is selected blue, and that goes for the same as when you were calling the class for this. Make sure this, the whole thing was selected blue. All right, so click down here on the black bar to select everything. And we want to set the class to, to view controller, just like that, or whatever these files over here are called. All right, so basically these files are, are now going to change this view controller specifically. 
All right, so now let's go on over to our main dot our view controller dot h file. Okay, now first in our view controller dot h file, we just want to add a property. So say at property, at property, open parentheses, say weak, comma, non atomic, and the parentheses. And then after that, you want to say IP outlet UI bar button item, and say star asterisk. Uh, we're just going to call this bar button and end it with a semicolon. Now let's go ahead and go into our view, our main dot storyboard again, and we're going to add a bar button item onto our view controller right down here. We want to put that right down in this view controller right over here, as this is the main screen. So let's go ahead, click and drag a bar button item onto that. And there you go. And now let's go ahead and go back into open up our assistant editor so we can connect our but our property that we just created with the item bar button item that we just created so you should see the circle click on that circle click and drag that to that bar button item that we just created and there you go now let's go ahead and go into our view controller.h file i'm sorry view controller.m file and we want to say hashtag import and for our and say open quotation mark close quotation mark and inside of those quotation marks just say sw reveal view controller dot h now if it doesn't fill it in already for you as it hasn't in the past for me go ahead and basically it just copy exactly what this right down here says in our slide out menu files all right now let's go ahead and go into our view did load and we're going to say underscore bar button dot target equals self self dot reveal view controller and then end it with a semicolon and then go right underneath that and just say underscore bar button dot action equals self I'm sorry equals at selector in our selector we will say reveal toggle and then that with a in that with a colon and then close the parentheses and then end that with a semicolon. All right, now let's go down here and we want to say open bracket self dot view add gesture recognizer and we want to say self dot reveal view controller dot dot pan gesture recognizer and then end that with the bracket and then a semicolon all right now let's build and run this and see what we have done already all right now as you can see when you click on this item right here it opens it up or you can just simply drag from anywhere on the screen and to open up the drawer right here but as you can see nothing is in this drawer and we will edit that in just a moment in a moment so let's go ahead and go into um, go back into our project and say file new file so file new file click on file and we want to say this as an objective C class double click on that or click next and we want to say it a subclass of UI table view controller and our class and we'll make the class called navigation view controller all right now let's click next create and now let's go back into our main dot storyboard and now we want to click on our table view controller at the top right up here and we want to change the class of it so make sure the thing is selected the view controller the table view controller is selected blue and we want to set the class to nav navigation view controller all right now let's go into our navigation view controller m file and first of all we just want to create an ns ns array so let's go right on over here to our at implementation say open bracket enter close bracket and just say ns array star menu and then end that with a semicolon all right now we want to go down to our view did load and just completely erase these comments that we have right here and now right underneath super view did load we want to say menu 
equals at, and then it should give you this option, but if it doesn't, just say at open bracket and say at open open quotation mark, close quotation mark, comma, at open quotation mark, close quotation mark. Now for the first quotation mark, we're just gonna call this first and our second, we'll just call this second. Now end it with a bracket and then close it with a semicolon. All right, now let's go down here and I'm just going to erase these things that say warning. And let's go ahead and just change the number of sections in our table view. Right now it says zero, so we actually just wanna say return one. So there will be one section in this table view. And then now we wanna go down here and it says number of rows in section, say return. Now right after return, erase the zero, say open, open bracket menu count so this is counting the amount of strings that we have in here so it'll count these numbers the number of things we have inside of this menu array so right now it would count two all right now let's go down here and we want to completely erase the comments so we we want to erase whatever's commenting out this section right here and right after right after the Sell it right after this curly bracket. We want to say ns string star cell identifier equals open bracket menu object at index index path dot row and then end of the end of the bracket and then end it with a semicolon. All right, now right over here, I accidentally erased it while I was typing. You want to, right after um, dec uh, re reusable cell with identifier, colon, right after that, you just want to say cell identifier, or whatever you called it right above that. All right, now let's go down here, and you can delete everything that you see right in between here and the last little section right down here that says prepare for segue. So just delete that, and then end the comment that you see right there. And now we wanna go into our main.storyboard, and here we're gonna go to our table view that we created when we first started this project. And that'll be the top table view, and this will be the menu that we created. All right, so let's go ahead, click select on our table view, on the view itself and create a prototype cell of two. All right, so we have two prototype cells up there. All right, now we wanna change the style. We're just gonna change the style to basic and we will name the title of this hello world and the title of the second one, this is Jared. All right, now this is where you want to call these cells by their name. We want to go over here and just say identifier right down here and call it first. And then right below that we want to call this one second. Now if you're wondering where I'm getting these numbers, so basically they are the exact same things that we created in our array right over here. So it, when there's a lowercase, there's a lowercase. When there's an uppercase, there is a uppercase. So make they are case sensitive in this matter. All right, so first, and second. Now if you want to create more cells, you can easily do that by just going comma at at open quotation mark, close quotation mark, and just call this third. Third. And now let's go into our main dot storyboard. And here you can create another prototype cell. Select that prototype cell that we just created and just call the identifier third. And now that will be set up and you can also change the text there. So we're just gonna call this map. All right, let's go ahead and click on those cells that we just created. And I'm just gonna change the background color to make things look a bit nicer. And then we also wanna change the text color over here. So just click on map and we're gonna change the color to white and click on this is Jared. We're gonna change that color to white too. And lastly, hello world and change that color to white. And now we wanna change the whole background of the table view. You can just simply do that by clicking on our table view right down here and go right down here where it says view and just make sure and just to select the color that you like. All right, now we can build and run this and see what it does. 
All right, now when you click on it, it automatically opens up this menu. But not right now, this menu is doing nothing. It, when you click on something, some error will occur or something like that. So basically, you can this menu is fully functional except that it doesn't work. All right, <laughs> that was totally ironic. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and make this menu work. So let's go ahead and click on our view controller, and we're gonna copy and paste our view controller into our scene. You copy and paste it. So click, drag, select, copy, paste, and then just click and drag our view controller up here where we can select it better. All right, so we first want to say hello world. So we're just going to right click or control click from our hello world up here. Click and drag from that to our first view controller down here and say reveal view controller. And now let's go up here and say this is Jared. And click and drag from this is Jared to our second view controller. And then right over here, we're going to click and drag from our map and just click on that to our, our third view controller. And make sure they all are saying reveal view controller. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. All right, make sure they're all connecting by reveal view controller right down here. All right, now we want to go back into our navigation view controller.m file right over here. And I said we were going to do something with this segue right down here. So let's go ahead. And I have a piece of code that I'm just going to paste in here because it would be a lot to write. So let's go ahead and click Command V in that into our scene. All right, and we also want to say right up here, just say Im hashtag import. And again, we want to say SW sw reveal view controller dot h and now let's go down here and let's explain this block of code for a little bit all right so this is basically saying if the segue is a kind of class that, uh, as the class of sw reveal view controller segue class so basically as we connected everything up here these are actually all the segue classes of our s view, sw reveal view controller segue right over here so now this is saying when this specific type of segue is called something is going to happen so let's go ahead and go back into our v navigation view controller and i'm just going to explain a bit more now inside of this block of code you'll see that it says SW reveal view controller segue, and then it's uh, SW segue equals reveal view controller segue segue. So these are all segues that were created right over in our SW reveal view controller h file over here. So if you guys haven't done this already, make sure to copy whatever this is, copy every line of code from here, or else your segue will not work properly. All right, so go ahead, copy this and make it so it works. All right, now we want to say SW segue dot perform block. And this is basically saying perform this whole command anytime that this is this is called. So say SW reveal view controller segue uh, star RVC segue as you have as I said this before, these are all created right over here in our SW reveal view controller dot H and M files. Now, this is something that you really don't need to worry about. Just copy and do. That's how I see it. So let's go down here and right over here, it says UI navigation controller nav controller equals UI navigation controller star self dot reveal view controller dot front view controller. So what this is basically saying, it's anytime this is called, this is the first thing it's going to do. So it's going to bring back the front view controller in its original position. And then it's also, and then this is not going to be animated. So this is just going to change it up. And then lastly, it's going to bring it back into its proper position. So let's go ahead and see what this does and build and run this. Now, as you can see, item. Now you go, hello world. It brings it back to its original position. Click on this is Jared, brings it back to its original position and click on map and it brings it back to its original position. Now just to show you guys that it's bringing up different view controllers every time, let's go ahead and click and drag a label onto our scene. So I'm just gonna click and drag that label, that label, and that label. 
we'll call this hello world and then I'm just gonna call the second label this is Jared and then lastly this label will just be called map just to show you guys that this is going to its proper positions every time now let's go ahead build and run it again now when you click on item or you swipe from the right or something like that then you click on hello world it goes to hello world then this is Jared and then map Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you guys want to see more tutorials by me, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.